Hey, so today we're going to be talking about uh, how to get an ITIN for your non-U.S. citizen spouse or dependent. Hey everyone, this is Sina Banabi from EIN Express. Uh, I'm an IRS certifying acceptance agent and I'm both trained and authorized by the IRS uh, to help non-U.S. citizens all over the world to successfully get their ITINs for them. Uh, and also their EINs as well. We've assisted uh, you know, over 2,240 non-US citizens to help get their EINs and ITINs, and you know, we'd love to help you get your EIN and ITIN as well too. Uh, so today we're gonna go ahead and discuss um, a common question that we get. Um, this one is, is a tax return type of question. Um, it's you know, when we have US citizens or US resident aliens for tax purposes, who are trying to get an ITIN for their you know, non-US citizen spouse or dependent. Um, and they oftentimes, when they come to me, they say, hey, Sina, you know, I'll give you an example. Um, they'll come to me and say, hey, Sina, you know, I, I went overseas, um, and I'm a US citizen. Um, I went overseas, and I found love, and I got married to uh, an, you know, uh, a non-US citizen, um, let's say, for example, from the Philippines. Um, so. They'll come to me and say, you know, I, I need to get an item uh, for my, let's say for this conversation for, uh, for my wife in the Philippines. I need to get an item for her so I can go ahead and file my taxes. Well, but the, the common misconception here is that the thinking it, it needs to be done separately, where you have to get an item first and then go ahead and then you know file your taxes and and, and, and claim them on there. No, um, they're done simultaneously. That's where the misconception is there. So the way it works is. You need to because the spouse on their own, you know, doesn't qualify to apply for an ITIN. It's being your spouse and being claimed on your taxes is what's going to help them qualify to apply for an ITIN. That's why it needs to be done simultaneously. Um, so the way it'll work is the tax return needs to be prepared, and in this case that we're talking about, if it's a spouse, uh, it'll be a married filing jointly tax return, um, and the tax return needs to be prepared either by the client or uh, by the, either by yourself or we can prepare it for you as well too. Um, and then we also prepare your ITIN application properly for you as well. And then what we, we do is we make sure both of you sign the tax return because spouses need to, need to sign tax returns um, as well as the person whose uh, tax return it is. Um, dependents don't have to sign tax returns. So I just wanna note that as well. Um, and so what we do is we take that, you know, married filing jointly tax return and also that ITIN application for the spouse we put them together and we, and we manually file them together to the IRS Service Center in Austin, Texas. Now when that tax examiner gets that file from us, they're gonna see that you have a, you know, a married filing jointly tax return and the spouse has no tax ID. But they're gonna also see that an ITAP application was attached to that tax return. So what they'll do is they'll first process the spouse's ITIN application issue the spouse an ITIN, and then the IRS will manually put that ITIN on the tax return and then process that tax return accordingly. Um, the same is done as well for dependents too. Um, now dependents, um, in terms of being claimed as a dependent on a tax return, um, there's new sets of tax laws out there um, that have come up in 2018 that differ from prior years, and we'll discuss that in another video. Um, but for this video, we wanted to simply clarify how to get an ITIN for you know, a non-US citizen spouse or dependent. Um, and they gotta be done simultaneously. You, uh, you're not supposed to do them separately uh, because oftentimes the dependent or the spouse doesn't qualify to apply for an ITIN on their own. It's being the dependent of a person who needs to claim them or being the spouse of a US citizen or US resident alien who needs to claim them on their taxes that qualifies them to be able to get an ITIN. So they need to be done simultaneously. So I hope this response was really helpful, uh, you know, clarified any, you know, uh, confusion or, you know, it was informative. Um, you know, let me know what you think. If you have any questions, uh, post them in the comments below. And if you're ready to get your EIN or your ITIN or both, um, go ahead and click the link below to start your application. Thank you so much.